Hello and welcome to Squad Ops Operation Nightcrawler. I'm Killer Mantime and I'm joined tonight by Sergeant Jackson. Say hi, Jackson. Hello, everybody. All right. Uh, I'm falling behind a little bit here, so we're going to be rushing a bit to get through this, no pun intended, by teams. So, for the U.S. side, command, it's Alpha Guido, and his two ICs going to be Rubba, his three SLs being Dix Folk, Roman Orc, and Phoenix. How about for the Russian side? Uh, hold on a second. Looks like we have... For the Russians, we're going to have Alpha... Or... For the Russian side, corrections, we're going to have Blackbeard and then Erlan with Blackbeard as 2IC, got Expit, Miyamoto, and then Rose. All right. And that is your commands for tonight for round one. Team loadouts for the U.S. side. Uh, infantry level squad. It's one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one Medic. Uh, platoon armory is four LATs, AT4s, and four HATs. Ignore the AT-12 next to that. There were some op-doc changes. Uh, four engineers, no vehicles, no fob and logistics. And for support, they're relegated to four artillery barrages smoke. And how about for the Russian side? Russians, they're going to get a couple of FTLs, a couple of ARs with a medic in each of the squads. Uh, platoon Army, they don't really have any special kits except for the crewmen's as needed because they are going to be getting one times BTR with uh, support that infantry as long as a logi truck to help move them around in for setup. They'll get one fob and one hab with that setup along with two times artillery barrage of smokes. All right. And that is pretty much loadouts. I think we rushed a bit too fast because I think they haven't even spawned anyone in yet. So I guess we can talk about this up just a bit before we uh, have to bring them all the way in. Um, so let's see here. What is this operation? Because I haven't been able to read the op doc in depth yet. This What's op is going to mainly be the Americans have to go after three uh, patrol points, either on the west side or the east side. Um, they got on the west side and the east side, they got uh, two different groups of uh, patrol points one, three sets of green patrol points, three sets of red patrol points. So, whichever side they choose, by the looks of it, I believe the Americans are going to go to or are going to opt into the west side. And it looks like they might go after, if I look at this correctly, looks like they're going to be going after the green. I from what it looks of it. But anyways, they have to go after three of these uh, patrol routes, and the Russians' objective is to try and stop them from getting each of the patrol routes. So it's going to be interesting that they chose the west side. It's very open, lots of very wide open fields and stuff like that. So it might opt out better for the Russians with that BTR since all the Americans are going to be running around on foot with infantry assets. Ooh, yeah. That is... Hmm... And it sounds like all squads are going to be getting a lat and a hat engineer. So it's not going to be a situation where two squads or one squad is going to be rolling with a bunch of hats or lats. Or, yeah. yeah. That would be horrible. And... We got that uh, We got that lat sniper far talk on the American side because they're definitely going to need them. That, that, uh... What is that? Um, that is the he is on the Russian side. So it's... Yeah, that's right. He will be the one to look out for next round. Hmm, that is... Why is there a defensive armored vehicle? I think... Uh... Just because they gotta cover so much ground between uh... all the different possible patrol routes. All right. So they're gonna need something that can zip back and forth, kind of like a QRF, a quick reactionary force, to be able to react to where they think the Americans are gonna be heading out to here. They don't know exactly which points they're going for, they just know which side, and they've been alerted that they're going to the west side of the map. So all that's right. all they know as far as the Americans' patrol route. All right. All right. Listen to some music. That's what I like to hear. There's no ammo. All right, guys. There you go. Uh. So, hold on. Uh, Phoenix. I think you're talking to a local right now. 
I don't think I am. I was hearing you, and it sounded like it was in local. I was hearing that whole thing to your squad. Jay oh, well. got me a new amp. All right, guys. Uh, it's a, it's a glitch. Welcome. Uh, so today we are going to be doing a nighttime patrol to clear the western Yiho region of Russian forces. Russia has moved in and set up a pretty heavy line of resistance up north, and we're going to patrol out this area to make sure it's clear for a advance later in the day. So, the way it's going to work is we're going to be patrolling three points given to us by command, which I'll be slowly placing down on the map now. All right. So the three parts are all marked with enemy fob markers. We will be taking this in a clockwise fashion, meaning we'll be hitting Charlie 12-3, followed by Charlie 11-5, and then into Golf 12-6. The uh, way this is going to happen is going to have three squads doing the primary patrol, while another squad sits off a bit more to the east and just does observ observation and eventually does a late delayed push. So, the three squads pushing in will be Roman squad in the middle of the formation. Mark of the helmet marks. Phoenix's squad on the west. Mark of the Lodgy marks. And then Rubba's guys on the east. Mark of the BTR marks. So, the way it's going to work is Roman squad will be the one pushing in to secure that final, that first point. While Phoenix's guys move to secure the woods just northwest of that, and Rubba's guys move into the woods northeast of that. Once you secure the first point, Ru Roman and Phoenix's squads will secure the forest marked with the helicopter mark. They will spread out and get overwatch on that le next point, while Rubba's squad basically follows in the heads north cuts west in the trench line, and then secures the point under hopefully uh, friendly supporting fire as well as a smoke barrage. Once that is done, Rubba's squad will basically reverse and fall back east down the trench line towards the Gulf 12 location, while Roman and Phoenix will disengage and kind of loop around a bit more and coming from the south towards Gulf 12. While this is going on, Dick's folk squad will be setting, heading out towards that initial IED mark, or mine mark, uh, at Fox 13-8. He will be observing the town as best he can, but not moving into it to make sure that the no Russian forces have moved in. If he does not see any uh, contact, he will... Oh, wait one. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, so after, if Dick's Folk does not see contact out in the east, his squad will eventually move north. And pr try to secure the uh, the forest and trees just northwest of the point where he will hold and set up defensive line. If things start going tits up and the western elements cannot pull back or are getting bogged down, then Dick's Folk Squad will instead move into Gulf 12, into Gulf 12 5, and secure it themselves. From there, we'll basically gather, we'll regroup, figure out how many is left in each squad, and from there I'll delegate troops to be on point south, west, east, etc. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that if we have completed two of the objectives, for example, let's say we've got the two west ones nice and easy, but most of our leadership dies, your goal is just to go and secure that third point. Uh, any questions? All right, uh, one more thing to note is uh, intelligence suggests that the Russians have had a BTR roving around the area in the western Yiho region. We do not know where it is or where it will strike, but be aware. It most likely will be lying in an ambush position waiting for us to cross its path. So do your best to stay out of open fields and keep to uh, keep the terrain and uh, good terrain and cover. Uh, if there's no questions, SLs, break them out, get ready for live. Liking by multiple different people right, within this community. You will be and it looks like we are live. And it'll be a bit before we uh, get any contact between the teams. But while that goes, I will continue answering or reading off questions or comments in the Twitch chat. And if you're looking at getting into uh, 
into these ops, feel free to sign up on our website at squadops.gg. Um, on the calendar, you find, uh, what is it, the SOTs. Uh, SOT Basic is required to play in these operations. Or, if you're just looking at playing on the community, we have a number of 24-7 uh, servers. I want to say 24-7, but they're only like 12 hours because we can't keep enough people on the server when it turns EU time. Or at least daytime for the EU. I think we're working on that though, aren't we? We are having them up mainly during the peak hours, just aside from the player count, which I believe is always a really good count because people do respect our, the mods that we run and that we are working on re restoring. It's called a hardcore mod, and a lot of people take a lot of shining to it because of some of the really cool stuff, uh, the damage tweaks, the custom kits and stuff we use like that. But just having the admin presence to be able to confidently regulate 24 7 to make sure that you know our servers are very you know liking place for everybody and that we don't have people griefing when we're not around watching so we so we are working on you know returning to a 24 7 stature yep. uh Londarts or wow Londarts. uh command for the russians is Londarts tonight so rubba phoenix roman dixfolk Londarth, it looks like they're going to play kind of, you know, close to the chest. They're not spreading out too much. Uh, probably a few hundred meters in between. It looks like if anywhere, they're going to get in contact first. It's probably going to be with American Second Squad here coming down towards this village. Ooh. He's kind of heading straight into the brunt of the line. And then they have the BTR out on their right flank in the field, but there's a significant amount of vegetation and uh, forestry that will stop that BTR same one and three and command sneaking up over there on the west flank. But yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully second squad on the American team takes it easy going to this village because he is fully running into the full brunt of three Russian squads here. We're just waiting on contact. Yeah, I see the line now after I got closer. They are definitely... I don't really want... They're more spread out than the U.S. is. Uh, the U.S. is at least keeping, what, two squads? No, my bad. Squad two is just squad two. I thought there was more here with them. That's fine. Uh, Terry, no, he is officially by on. himself. Um, so oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah, hopefully they are very online. vigilant on their uh, scouting and being able to spot these guys before they get walked right on top of by more than what they can handle. All right. Who is that with the question marks in I the name? I got a reminder. Smoke is ready and available, so you guys are in a tough uh, spot. One of the you soldiers? Push your fallback at your discretion. Oh, no, I just... I finally got rid of my uh, things in front of my uh, Steam name, so I no longer have those question marks. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, Jakasuki, he's over yeah. here. Yeah. And then Thor. I thought it was like someone with just the name of question marks, and then I got closer, and there was another name on Copy next to him. Yeah. Uh, he, he's a Pretty new, well, he's a new gentleman. He took uh, Sot Basic, I want to say, a couple weeks ago, and, and he's been an up-and-comer as far as attending and uh, being a force to reckon with here in our events. Position, then we're going to cross the deal and huh. push into it. Solid copy. Squad forward mics out. From what I'm being able to tell, I haven't been able to sit on the American side and listen to their plans, but it looks like two is going to be screening. He's not getting aggressive, and he's stopping just short of the Russian line here. And the only thing that's stopping them from seeing each other is a small valley, but filled with forestation and trees here. So Yeah, I think they are screen. functioning more along the lines of uh, lookout and feeler. So if they yep. get contact, I do believe their directive is to fall back and... I want to start approaching uh, relink now, with this, the, the uh, majority of the squads. Right. I think. That's what yeah. I would do. <laughs> I would do, given that, you know, like the like I said, the Russians got tipped off to which side they're on. So I'm thinking, 
you know, the Americans know that they're going to get beat to this point that two is just on the other side of the ravine from. So, which is 100% accurate. There's three whole squads that would be here to that point. To a spotted contacts in the Gulf 12 town. Uh, he will continue to watch that and give me updates as needed. For now, we're going to just focus on doing this. And it looks like contact has Four been copies. spotted by Alpha Guido. Sounds like they're the ones that see the enemy first. The Russians are still oblivious to any enemy movement. Unless I misheard that. Which then I will be immortalized on Twitch for the rest of my life for mishearing a clear as day command going out. <laughs> ah, so quiet. Command from one, the comp appears to be clear. We're going to place the radio now. Copy. A negative. I'll get that. Uh, some tailing behind you. Push past it and uh, head into the forest. Freeze. Let's get in here and see if they are yeah. saying anything. I see Biscuit in the chat is saying how he started playing squad to improve his English because since when he, like the U.S. military and other countries, come to train with their soldiers, the reservist is usually... Oh, that's interesting. Boy. What uh, which country is that? Because I know America does that a lot. Um, specifically with me being in the National Guard for the state of Minnesota, we train hat, you know, close hat in hand with uh, the Norwegians. We'll send a company of uh, soldiers up to Norway to do survival mountain training, and then we'll have Norwegians come uh, here. He says and, you know, the uh, Malaysian reservists. Ah, uh, that's a cool one. I have not heard of that one before. There's all different four, kinds of countries that we, of, you know, uh, we'll do soldier Hitler. swap training where we'll go and learn each other's, so uh, you know, keen interests and uh, their their focal points and their Curry training and stuff like that. that so uh, trench. It's, it's really cool. Kerr comes area. in with a be Minnesota. Squad watching it. That's only because Kerr wishes he lived in Minnesota and he's not yet that Got lucky to be accepted by the state. So he will <laughs> one, be also be over there on, that, I believe, the uh, East Coast. So you enjoy right now. being uh, over there on that out from there. horrible, so horrible part of the country. From a BTR, pull back off that hill immediately. Which, when I say that, Four I say the utmost sarcasm. Every part of the country is a great part. Bravo, want you to keep Minnesota is, you know, we all have a very heartfelt spot for our home states. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting over here on the east side, still no contact. Two has held his position against this Russian front line. But yeah. as he can do that and gets no eyes out to his east, he actually has squad it. two of the Russian side slowly flanking out on his right side and might even potentially come up behind him. What's so great about the coast, Kerr? All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like the Russians are definitely going for setting up a uh, defensive line. Command which completely Minor throws out what you said at the beginning. Copy that. Uh, start about them guys. keeping their uh, uh, spacing the pretty close. Uh, will probably be in position. So oh, at yeah. this point, they are really no. then. Yeah, two is ever so slowly. Creeping his way south behind uh, the American second squad. Yeah, I've noticed that. I don't know what the... Well, their next point would be uh, right up there at the crossroads where the uh, artillery marker is. Sounds like the Russians finally spotted squad two of the American side. Finally? It. Yep, he's calling it out over command comms. They spotted his fire team that's on the west side here in these bushes just uh, north side of the road. Looks like they spotted either Flicker, Sean Amion, Liberal, or uh, Big Flick. One of, the, one of the soldiers in the fire team has been noticed by the Russians. Uh, hmm, if I had to take a bet, I'd say either Flicker or liberal. I'm not one, picking on one, liberal. I'm just saying. Northwest through the forest, they're gonna set up in that <laughs> trench line just west southwest of the bridge. 
Whatever it is, Lon's got out. eagle eyes because he's the one that spotted him all the way across the valley. Oh, it was, if it if it was Lon Sparring, it, it doesn't uh, matter who it was. Yet, then one, you're in a prime position. I want you Man, pushing with uh, low key the X ray vision. Team to secure oh, Charlie definitely. 11, five, seven. Three, hold position for right now. I'll probably be sending you east down the trench line. Copy that, and so it looks like three might be shoved three, eastward down the trench line uh, if need be. Seeing as the U.S. have been keeping track of, well, keeping track, sort of, of the Russians. Over here in Russian squad, too, is moving slowly but surely, making work around getting behind uh, the American second squad here. Uh, Kerr, you need to go read the op doc. Actually, speaking of that, I guess I can... Wow, there's a lull. Have a doc. Educate yourself. <laughs> are both teams advancing? In essence, yes. The Russians got to go out and figure out where the Americans are going to, and the Americans got to cover three of their right, patrol uh, patrol points that they're now. going after three, here. Actually, so it's kind of a game of slowly moving forward and, going and see who bumps into and who and figuring out where each uh, other are at. Yeah. West Mogi. And currently, it looks like the Russians are sitting on one Command of the uh, it shouldn't be all that difficult. We've encountered no uh, resistance markers. up to this point, and I don't have any feeling we're going to encounter any time soon. Copy and that. Rubba yeah. calling a. Uh, if you take heavy contact, pull back, but you're you're free to maneuver up to the north. Unlikely like ability to, to uh, hit friend. contact anytime soon. I think that's going to come bite them in the butt. What squad is Rubba on? Command from one. Rubba is in three. Oh, dude, he's yeah, coming so right up on the... He has a fire team running across the field to his right, and then he is just a hedgerow away of trees from the BTR. Yep, and there he goes. He just called that contact. All right, we're going to begin uh, moving out yeah, now. Swing back over here. It looks like Blackbeard is one of his soldiers about to walk right on top uh, of uh, American Fox second squad here. Yep, they're 20 feet from each other. Flicker about to run straight into Reggie Fisco. And who is this? Matt Honcho? They are literally almost brushing shoulders. If he just, if the American or the Russian team just looks north, they would see Flicker walking out here in the open. Oh, man. Right, one, I want you pulling back. Quite literally. Oh, here Brennan. comes Dick's Folk, too, and Liberal Pundit. Yep. Oh, I hear him calling him out. Matt Honcho. Command from squad. I got oh, nothing over here. Dick's Folk. Oh, my God. They're directly northeast of us. Oh, my God. They're right oh, behind Fisco. Oh, no. <laughs> liberal Pundit. Don't shoot oh, no. Liberal. And then there's another and fire team, American fire team, coming on the left side. Now these guys are getting surrounded. Oh, down goes Flicker by Fisco. his position. For right now and be an oh, Americans are alerted now. So four and one rushing that little intersection his, of Hedgerow. Uh, one lead gets out Ooh, of there. man. Oh, oh <laughs> down goes Tinkerbell by... Is that Mr. Raggy took him down? Raggy almost down uh, by... Uh... Oh, Dick's fault but the rock on top of Fisco. Oh, this is not good. Uh, he doesn't see him. Now he sees him. Oh, down goes Matt Co. There. Just Dick's fault with the 2K right there. Nice. Sadly, Down my uh, fire team for Blackbeard. The yeah. the building complex inside now the the U.S. Squad Two is Copy that. any form of brains they would be falling back hard. Copy. All right. The fact clear. that they're behind so them is uh, kind of. Three's gonna hold. Two took contact down there to the uh, Gulf 13 area. That was a good right. collapse. Copy. We're specific. They are immensely out of range. Three. So they got to re figure out what, how to uh, reorientate themselves here against this the, Russian uh, aggression. From approaching from three south. Still believe they are not aware of Blackbeard and his two man buddy team with them to the south over here, west, which Imans is making a beeline towards right now. Flank us from the rear. Four at your discretion. If you would like to leave a rear a rear guard fire team for the meantime. Yep, Blackbeard just call him out and he's falling and back. back this later. American team is getting really aggressive, Song whether they know he's down here or not. I think the American team is just falling back in general and falling back right into Blackbeard, but Blackbeard is okay, saying so he needs to get into a better push, position uh, because they are caught out in the get open here. Hard south and try to flank far east. Copy. And they're headed straight for that three-man team there. Yep, now they've set up. Contact southwest was about 100. 
Copy. All right. It seems like they went wide. They're probably flanking Ima elements right Imanez now. So the way we're gonna have looking in that direction, like he's forward. seen something, so he might have in the area been the aware of their presence. Time. One, you are yeah, going all the Americans are crouching now. I think they the gig is up. I think they know Blackbeard's with, down here. Uh, my little command buddy team and your squad will push east down that trench line to try to secure Gulf 12. Once we reach that location with one, three, you will be, or once we reach your location, three, you will be pushing north with uh, your full squad. And it looks like Bl Bartok is taking shots first. Takes out Dick's Folk and not an NSA spy. On the east side, they probably had, did kind of what we did, but in the opposite fashion. They probably pushed three squads out to the east and one squad out to the west. Dick's Folk, try to disengage and continue uh, fighting. Uh, fuck, Dick's Folk's down. Sean, two, what's your uh, status right now? We are in contact with the enemy. Try and pull south. Copy. Looks if like we got, uh, uh, whose squad is this? Squad 3, Rubba's squad? About to walk right up on top of this BTR over here. Oh, better go catch that. We'll come back to this one if they're still alive. BTR's looking across the field, and these guys are, oh my god, Xbit's outside of the BTR. And this team's right on top of them. Command, or he's not even command, but he is the SL for that squad, and he's about to get ganked right here, either by, uh... Oh, somebody. Oddball. Sir laughs a lot. Oh, all these guys are bearing down on them. They're not even looking their direction. Uh, I really they wish I had turned up my gamma. Oh, they have eyes on. I think Oddball's about to take out Expert here. Command three. Go ahead. Three. I actually think he doesn't see him. I think this white birch tree is all that is saving Expert from an impending doom right now from Oddball. Copy that. You think there is a lat moving break, its break, way, break. Hat right it. making oh, its way copy, right up out. to him. So sneaky, Mr. United States Marine Corps. Uh, here comes Chicken. Oh, Chicken's on his way. You already know he's chomping. <laughs> oh no, the BTR's looking the other direction now. <laughs> oh, he caught him? How did he figure? Oh no, he figured out they're coming. It doesn't matter. Bush is in the way. If Chicken can figure out where the general area is and doesn't hit a limb, he should have the shot. But he's like, I don't have the depression. Oh, he's going after Chicken. Chicken's boogieing it. Oh, no. Oh, down goes that bit. He got taken out by Mr. Laughs a lot. Rubba and Pakalama's got in. Head out. That didn't do any damage, though. Think it took out a wheel? Yeah, it's not moving too well. Third wheel on the right side, so now it's going to be creeping and crawling, trying to get out of this engagement area. Oh, yeah. If it was a middle one, it would have been fine, but if that's one of the rear of the forward wheels. Go yeah, that's... Right. Oh my god, we got all kinds of close engagement. We got Don't Get Shot, Silent, and Milkshake crushing hedgerows with Frost, Animal. The whole American team is coming down in this fire team, running back to assist the BTR. Oh no. No, they're running up into another another squad. They're getting pinched between three squads right now. Yeah, there's a lot of maneuvering going on here. What happened to squad two? Where'd it go? For the uh, U.S. side, did they get wiped out? Received. I think Squad 2 had gotten wiped Wait, out. I think Blackbeard uh, right set up an effective ambush there. And uh, uh, anybody who's skylined coming over that hedgerow after him. I was hoping to catch that. Oh, well. Down goes headed by Silent. Head, Silent's going after Lagar now. Rubba's turned around and started returning fire. Copy that. Yeah, looks objective. like Blackbeard's... Whacked them all out. Command Some supreme four, ambushing north, skills north, there from one of the vets. Looks like I missed it. The uh, BTR we're, we're, has been we're, taken we're, out. We keep the comms clear yeah, I missed it also. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, doing good tonight. <laughs> yeah. No. This is actually working out decently right. well for the Americans. I figured oh, this yeah. beat would have been set up at Command a place of range, but contact, sitting in this head drill, right. he's just asking this infantry to walk around right top of them, which is exactly Well, it comes down to, I think the Russians spread out way too much. You've got squads, you got teams of three all over the place. 
trying you know to what? cover as much ground as they possibly can. And there yeah. goes. Don't get there goes silent. silent. Behind. That phoenix took him out. He's not even aware that he's dying from the rear, that his fire team is going down. He's still facing the front. Yeah, situational awareness is really hard when you got bullets going over your head. As I say, as a uh, uh, Joe Schmo. And Toast is the one that takes him out. All right, that is... Uh, there went all the uh, Russians on this side. Yeah, except the for Western. except for this motley crew over here, here Silver Sully and uh, Danger's close, Not just kind of sitting see, there. I really see that much apparently. Well, we got remnants of one. Copy that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's keep it safe. Over here. Just try to pull south into Four's uh, area as soon as you can. You guys will follow uh, the path that myself and one took as long as it's still clear. Roger. About to get some more good action here. Three, yep. squad three on Russian is about to go up against squad three of yeah, yeah, yeah. comes Miyamoto. Name. Outstanding for. Uh, and this is a full on squad, south, full full strength squad minute, of Russian then, uh, here. Fall back in with us. Going up against roughly what do we got six left of uh, America's third squad. Uh, All right, one. Let's take yes. it slow here. Let's uh, let's make sure we don't get jumped. But. It they looks like they're going to pull back within to the uh, rest of the American squads here, so... Yep, they're regrouping. Copy that. I got Bravo Fireteam pushing in direct west and Charlie going southwest. Uh, as long as 4 so holds got, on, which 4 is even getting bared down on, on right now down by... Uh, now, command. Squad 1 of the U.S. with the uh, well. command is pushing straight into command three. a pinch for uh, Squad three. 2 on the Russians over here. We're pulling back. Complete report. We have anywhere between Looks four to like six what's left KIA of uh, Blackbeard a, uh, is now coming up on top of the hill. Potentially get uh, crossed, blocked, right, whoever's chilling over here down in this ravine. Hit us. him in the rear. Four, I want you moving as Let's well. see what the uh, man has to say here. Let's off where I'm at. You're going to head north more towards uh, Mogi if possible. Once you get to my location down the trench line. We're slowly reaching that point where the... Uh, Map is going to become useless because of all the flying nets. At least to go 200 meters to your east. Command, we have enemy infantry contact southwest. Copy that for. Keep him busy. Give three time to. Uh, and it looks like that that small team of three motley crew has finally engaged squad four and three of the U.S. side. Command, we're taking contact from east side on point proper. Sounds like uh, two Blackbeard is doing a little uh, recon uh, reconning, trying to figure out where the radios are that the Americans are putting down, and they are finally coming to the assumption that they're going after the green route, and realizing that four is on the uh, potential cap point, and they're, they're taking heavy con fire. heavy contact now. So yep. thank you and for all Russians falling back to four here. Yeah. Well, if they can clear out squad two of the uh, Russians over here, they can. Uh, place another fob down. Two, two Russians just went down on the point proper to Lats and MGs. Repeat last. We got Joshi with three Ys and your nightmare over here on the actual point proper. With Rose Dragon himself sitting under the bridge. He's down to three effective on the last radio point here. Yeah. Oh, but here comes Blackbeard running up the running up the uh, on the flank up the rear, coming at Guido and that fire team, and another pinch from a buddy team coming from the north with Damon or Dayman and WG. Oh man, Blackbeard, stop it! Stop taking apart the U.S. side. Yeah, three. Question is, is is block and uh, animal over here watching the rear to see the Russians cross? It doesn't look like it. They're looking at the point. Yeah. The, the only ones that'd be able to see Blackbeard go across, but oh, there they go now. And they're not looking that direction. Copy. Can you disengage by yourself, or do you need? Is that smokes coming in? Looks like we got smokes that is falling in. On him, but we go on the point.
Oh no, speaking of more flanks, now we got the rest of the American team coming up behind Blackbeard. Oh no! <laughs> and it looks like they just got called out. And there it goes! Storm's hit, he's about to go down. Scottish. Oh no. Blackbeard made it. That's all that matters. Storm looks like he's holding on by a thread. Damon gets taken down. Looks like, oh, I didn't miss it. Guido is hurt. Gentle just went down. Daniel is, yeah, they're just, they're closing in on command here with this fire team. Oh, yeah. Roger. What? Contacts to our south as well. Down goes Guido. He is completely out now. We got Roman and Tio stuck here. Now, and with them being a back in that predicament, we got Block, Animal Lover, and Steve-O making a push-up on the point. Ooh, down goes Roman and Teo. Teo. Yikes. And here comes Chicken, Airborne, Legar, Rubba, Oddball, all third squad coming up behind Blackbird. You could say they're an Oddball squad. Good Copy. That. If you can, try to pull east. If you can't, I'm okay with you pulling south. We need more bodies to take that. I felt like Ooh, Nightmare here on the point, Squad right on the other side of the down. wall from Nightmare. Steve-O. Oh, he took on Steve-O. Block an animal right on the other side of the wall from Nightmare here. To the north. Gotta be careful against Nightmare. He is a nightmare of a AR gunner. Pun completely intended on that one. Uh huh. Squad one, Bravo teams in a bad position. I guess I deserve that one after I did the oddball thing. Oh! Why would you even try that animal, mother? Four at this point, continue to keep them occupied. Was that a pistol he had out? That was a pistol. That's just not good. Get the meme, man, but you can't meme him against that man. No, nightmare is uh, anti-meme. Unless he's the one memeing. So now we got. Oddballs are Roba's squad, but they're screening to the right, completely going away from Blackbeard. I really I wish I could Blackbeard. turn off the nets. The rest of who we got over here, Daniel. Taking contact. Couple. Oh, there goes Daniel. Now we just got the hash slinger. Copy one. We're trying to relieve pressure from you by coming around the south. It looks like Block's still up there. I think. Is that a floating yeah. camera? Block is is hanging on. Whatever protection he can get from that uh, that wooden fence, fence yeah. there. <laughs> Pin damage. Hope it doesn't happen. I've already said his name, so it does. Man, he's, he's already forfeit. Oh, uh, Nightmare's calling him out. You must hear him squeaking around in the dirt. Yeah. Getting close quarters uh, like that, every little sound matters. Remember, if you want to look around, move the head, not the body. Oh, uh, here comes three, finally getting into the fight, coming up behind uh, Rubbo's squad. About to follow the same pathway in that he took. Why is everyone like the... That's just... Everyone has poured in up this creek bed. Beds and other kind of like draws and creeks and ravines like this are called natural lines of drift where they are pathways that are have low visibility from the surrounding environment so they naturally get people and squads to move down them and but thus so we have active. and thus we have the sought answer yeah, yes yeah that's what happens when you got a teacher in here coming <laughs> I hope y'all are all no noting this down if you're planning on taking SOT that will be on the test. Kerr in here saying F to X fit. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Rest in peace. Don't get do get shot and don't hype up Nightmare. Alright, I understand. Are you still in the game, Kerr? I'm guessing not. So I will hype up Nightmare. This building is clear, this building is clear. And uh, Nightmare being, has been cleared out. Yeah, he has been cleared out. Airborne went right in there and took him out. Now Block's got some backup. So it's southeast. East, southeast. Oh boy, this... 
Oh, the gnats. All the spectator cameras. I really wish they'd give us a function to turn that off. Yeah, separate from the actual icons. Makes it a little hard to weed through who's actually running around and who's just watching. Uh, the next basic is... Actually, that's a good question. Is that tomorrow? Basic. We had one today. I'll have to take a gander here. Alright, so be careful. I guess, uh, command is down. Phoenix taking over. Three, I need a sit rep. We lost our elbow? Uh, laughs a lot. That's you. You're in charge of three. So the next rep. basic has not yet been posted, so if you are looking for a basic, gentlemen, Keep your eyes on that calendar. We tend to put them at least 48 hours out or further just to give them time to people to sign up in and get a good attendance out of it. So keep your eyes on it. Uh, we generally do them Thursdays and Saturdays are the days that we do it. And then we have our specialty courses on Sundays. So if there's anybody in here who's watching has already got a basic certified tag and is looking for a little, you know, another class, another certification under their belt, we got a fire team leader course going on tomorrow. Uh, I'm in central time zone, so that's going to be happening at 1.30. Have maybe one man pulling southern security for you. Just try to repel any attack that comes in from the north. Squad 4 is coming in with a strength count of 5. And the U.S. side is definitely on the ropes at this village. point. We'll try and get them in an L-shaped ambush with uh, Squad 3. Squad one taking like, contact uh, west as above. long as they can make a sturdy Close defense out of this last point, they have effectively direction. cleaned out the compound. But with that being said, they got Thor, Ch Chikazuki, and uh, right, yeah, the Russians just bearing down in on them, top of them right contact. now. Let's see here, we've got 21 kills for the U.S. side That's and 26 good. for the Russians. So, currently the Russians are leading. Enemy currently. contact being marked with green... Can you get squad free to aim over this way? Can change one just from hunkering smoke. down and turning over to a defense point. Oop, airborne just Front got pinged smoke. from one the of the Russians command. across one, in the one tree line. Down. One of them's down, I'm reloading. How many are left? It looks like Thor X, uh, X Kron. Yeah, Maybe. Yep, there goes Thor. Taken out by uh, Sir Laughs a Lot. Laughs a Lot's traded with him. Mm hmm. That's what happens when a normal M4 tries to spar with a RPK. Usually doesn't yeah. come out with a happy ending there. And Airborne's been taken down. Probably from across the ravine. Looks like we got some additional Americans coming right, in here from the south. One, I need a team of five trying to make it. It looks like Phoenix and one of his fire teams trying to come up and support. Uh, if they play their cards right, which it's looking like they're still going to the east, they might walk on top of uh, command sitting over here in the next compound. Well, it doesn't look too good for this little motley crew over here to the uh, north. Uh, Hovis and Raptor Force are the only ones still up, I think. Is Joshy? Yeah, still yep. North, north oh, did you not see him? Oh, okay, there he goes. <laughs> he was looking there for a hot minute, and I was like, oh, he must have thought he was a dead body. So that looks like the point has been cleared out. So now it's up to the Americans to try to take it back once again. Uh, who took out Block? Oh, uh, that would be Thor. Thor came in the opposite doorway. He came up behind and we got more smoke coming in, which is now calling all the Russian forces back, I'm assuming. Because I'm seeing a lot of, of uh, red moving towards that spot. Yep, we have, by the looks of it, command is on point. We've got a fire team plus on the actual point with a three man across the bridge also moving back. It doesn't look like we got a little buddy team of Americans <laughs> sitting on the north side of the bridge. So it's going to be up to that buddy team and what looks like Phoenix coming in over here from the uh, so we southeast part of the town. Do you see them south of that building? Yeah, they were like 194. Okay, I'm going to have to crouch to do this so I might get shot in the head. No, I'm just going to keep crawling up toward it. Got now, this has been a wild turn of events I for do. sure. I know that's a very commentating okay. commenter <laughs> thing. Right here, with all these flanks we've been seeing, you could almost narrate this this uh, this op today the longest flank. Yeah, pretty much. There was actually I don't think we ever had a stop in flanking. There was always someone flanking someone. 
man. One team, yeah, there'd be one squad coming up behind another squad, and as soon as that squad took out that squad, they would flank the BTR, and then it, yeah, it was just it's been never ending between who's been getting behind who in these maneuvers today. Right, right. Looks like this buddy team is taking out Raptor. You got both. And yeah. Hovis. Right, so, so that little did, buddy uh, team of Americans across the bridge to the north here has been neutralized. So now it's down to our fearless, uh, well, our fearless SOT leader and his fire team. All right. I say SOT leader because you see Phoenix here. Who is the last SL? Who is also the leader, co or the uh, lead instructor for the uh, SOT team? For all those who take SOT basic, will know him very, very, very well. Yes, he has a tendency of shooting people in the face if they don't follow what's going on. Only on the Russian team. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure he pegged me a couple times during uh, my basic. Probably, it's a good way to it's a good way to catch one's attention. Oh Literally. yes. All right. Speaking of Phoenix, we're coming up here. He's kind of we're coming right up to the building with Jacuzzi. He sees him. Didn't take him out though. Looks uh, like Xcron spraying through the fence here. Always my favorite engagements, seeing who can get through who through the fence. Oh, killer goes down. We got Lon and uh, Thor coming around on the left side. Phoenix all by himself hopping the fence. Down goes oh. Phoenix by Xcron. All down to Salty and Sasa over here. Is that who's left? Sasa and Salty Toast? Is the last of the uh, two Americans. Oh boy. And Sasa's not running in the right direction. I'm waiting for that uh, event admin to come in and make the warning. <laughs> yeah, that big yellow banner that says you need to get motivated and head towards your impending doom. Yes. Everyone. I don't think I've Looks ever like had that drop on me. Son of a bitch. Abu Hajar, seeing Sasa over here, cut him down. So now it's just down to Salty. Yeah, Salty is hugging a tree at the moment. This is the moment of recollection where you accept your fate Boy, and you push with all the glory all and honor that resides in your to fate. Where? The West? I wonder, you can you use uh, night vision and spectator cam? And Salty Toast gets shot, not dead. He... Nope, never mind, he's dead. Is Salty gone. <laughs> and that's <laughs> GG. Yep, that was a very, very good, very entertaining first round. Lots of oh, action, yeah. lots of maneuvers. We will be back for round two in a moment. Death marker and that IFB marker is there. All right. Looks like we're about to start getting the uh, U.S. briefing uh, Good here. work in the first round of Operation Nightcrawler. Uh, this time us with uh, doing a patrol, we're going to choose the green route which um, is marked by the yellow mortar markers. Uh, the first point is in October 14. The second one is in October 10-2 with our final destination, assuming all goes well in Kilo 986. Uh, we're going to have three squads traveling uh, together. Specifically, there'll be Xfit squad, Miyamoto squad, and Road Dragon squad. We're taking a patrol that sees us travel. Oh, you, can you guys see the five markers? Negative. No. no. All right. All right. The uh, the helmet markers. Traveling on the helmet markers. This is the general route we'll take. Once we reach that uh, position there, our first uh, objective rally point, the Rose Dragon Squad will break off, go and patrol the first objective. We will then continue moving. Once Rose Dragon has hit that first objective, approximately, and this is train dependent on what your squad leaders tell you, on a path similar to that. 
first big uh, obstacle we'll have will be crossing the road that I'll mark with BTR marker. We'll do that by having a base of fire somewhere out near the marksman mark uh, to cover the squads crossing the road. Also, command does get uh, a number of artillery barrages with smoke. So it's my intention if there is any contact there to use the, uh, the smoke to aid you guys to get across the road. Once that smoke drops, please be aggressive and cross the road because we don't get an unlimited supply of it. All right, so the objectives is as follow. If we patrol the first point and all squad leaders are killed, then uh, there will be an admin broadcast to fall back to most likely that first point. If we get the first two points patrolled and subsequently all squad leaders are killed, then the final objective will be Kilo 986. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you guys go off track, I'm sure an admin will help you out. All right, any questions? All right, just finally, uh, expect the Russians to come from any direction. Each and every one of you is responsible for your fire team, your squad, the platoons of security. So just like we do in basic, I want you traveling in good formations with good 360 degree security at all times. All right, squad leaders, break them out. But I can see him yeah, totally seeing seeing what the Russians have to throw at him and, and reacting we're to alive. that and getting oh, around him. Yep, we are live. X, X, pick the X. So, uh, Pony, Rosa, quick question. And the Russians are yeah. in a full on sprint to their defensive locations. Where you go? Oh, that's some Yeah, sorry. We're in a diesel, right? Okay, so this is interesting. So they are going to use that BTR as a reactionary uh, QRF, but until they are going to use that to get, I believe, Squad two into Novo, and they're gonna race them up there and dump them off into the town as quick as they can. Hmm. That's if this terrain doesn't defeat them in their purpose of getting there in the timely manner. Opting to take the cross country, uh, the cross country route here. Okay, I'm sorry, my SL dipped. Am I going with four? <laughs> and <two>? they're stuck. <laughs> uh, you're on point. Is Final the game set to Arma playing. 3 on Twitch? I don't know why it's... Oh, you know what? I do know why it's set to Arma 3 on Twitch. I don't know how to change that. Actually... Yeah, no, I don't know how to change that. Yeah, three, see this trend Coming from yesterday's Arma up. Well... Maybe it'll give us the chance to enlighten some Arma players out there that there's another game out there with the same tactical proficiency and teamwork gameplay. Yeah, someone somehow changed the uh, game tag, but it's not not Arma. We're not playing Arma. This is Squad. Other Milsom. <laughs> We'll have to figure out how to change that later. Curses you. I I think that was Dorf. I think Dorf did the uh, first person for Arma. Yes, Dorf is, was the gentleman that uh, ran the uh, Twitch stream for the Arma the other day. I still think we could do the spectator cam in it. It's just going to be janky. All right, so we got Phoenix. He is dismounted over here by the radio tower. He's going to be holding this uh, this area rather than moving into East Novo. Granted, saying he's got better eyes on from his position to look across the field. Yeah, I was about to say, that's honestly going to be a pretty good position for looking straight uh, south, 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 east. Especially if the U.S. forces uh, go for that furthest point first, or if they split up. Okay, I see why Phoenix is opting into that position. Since they do not know which of the routes that the Americans are taking, that is one of the red route locations uh, of the radio okay. tower. So that will give them a good indication. If they take contact there, that it is a good assumption that that is one of the points that they're going after the red route. 
Yeah, I keep forgetting on this side of the map, the green and red routes are really close to the uh, U.S. starting position. Um, so there's nothing they can do about the first points, but after that, as long as they set up a defensive area uh, guarding the south-southeast direction, they can ye should be able to catch any uh, forces trying to move towards the second or third point up north yeah it's gonna be very difficult for the americans after they take that uh that first green point there on top of i believe what is referred to as eagle mountain on this map uh getting across those fields and even just trying to get any farther north past that road is going to be a challenge for these gentlemen unless they can maybe scoot themselves over to the west because yeah that's a lot of open ground to cover for the american team yeah. Even more so with the position that the Russians are taking up here. We got squad three coming over here on the western side of the map up on these hills that will overlook the highway and uh, part of the western side of the map looking south as well as two and then with a small buddy team gapping in. So yeah, a very, very solid line defense against this uh, advancing team. Let's float over and check out the Russian line. I'm not quite within range to see all of it. All right, that should be. So yeah, they're definitely more clump than the uh, first round Russian side, which once they got where they wanted to be, they started three manning it up and down the uh, defensive line. Which, hey, you know, might have worked in their favor, you know, with all yeah, these buddy teams true. and three mans running around, not knowing exactly the where the front is. The contact, the brontal of the fours, not knowing yeah. where the enemy's actually coming from, so. If you could move your squad, it was uh, definitely a weird dynamic, set up that is for sure. 13, eight, or Speaking really of good clumping, space. good and lord, on top of this hill. Yeah, yeah, I was four. just looking at that. Just because there's not artillery in the op dock doesn't mean you should get comfortable and hold your partner's pocket. A nice placed ladder hat shot can take at least two or three people in this bunch. I can already see it. Yes, sir. Four. I'm looking at you, Kerr, Frederick, Silver, and Barrington. <laughs> so this defense that the Russians have got set up, it still looks like we got uh, three over here trying to get into an actual good position with lines of sight. And if he gets there quickly, he might be able to see Blackbeard coming up over here on the right. But it looks like he might be holding. If he gets farther south, but from where he is right now, you will not have lines of sight on him. It might be into a close quarters engagement here. I don't know. Now we'll NSA spy has a pretty good position. Yep, I see that now. Hopefully the eyes of the uh, of the NSA spy are as keen as an eagle. Probably not. The NSA doesn't <laughs> see anything. <laughs> Shots at the own country's government. Love it. Yeah. Even with the uh, eagle eyes, that's a lot of uh, trees and vegetation in the uh, oh, yeah. fall time here to see through. Oof, that actually looks what the Americans are going to opt into is using this low ground. Which, too, has actually crossed the road. I was wondering if they are going to get across or not. The Russians have crossed the road to the south here. Get into a better position to see south towards the Americans. Oh, we we'll just have a northeast. long file coming in from the Americans. Squad 1 leading. I don't know up. if this is I a think... bright decision by Fizco, but Fizco has decided to run out in the open. And if mm -hmm. NSA isn't as blind as I think he is, he should have seen him. Well, I guess we'll tell when we start hearing the popcorn popping. Maybe. Mr. Supervisor here with the RPK might catch a glimpse of him. Oh, no. It looks like Storm Frenzy and Rather Scottish oh. Chap are moving up on him. 
Can they get up this hill without being spotted, though? It doesn't look like any of the Russian forces. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they are not looking in this direction. They are all looking westward, Cash, west one, three, and uh, southwest. Break, break. We have contact Quebec 11, 8, uh, 8, 9. And it looks one like enemy squad. Blackbeard is calling break, out Quebec contact. 11, 8, 9. 11, eight, nine. Is that Oof. to them? Um, I don't want to give myself away just yet. They're in an advantageous position. That is directly to his north, so he is spotting like Dick's folk here, Roger. who is not even looking in his direction. He has got a fire team Go coming up here on Dick's right now with Go Storm, Frenzy, and Scottish. Oh, jeez. So much for Bluntal Force, it looks like. But it looks like Dick's is spotting the Russians that are crossing the field to his uh, west. Confirmed, Ben. Oh, that works. All right. I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you consider little, uh, spotting a uh, very um, highly valued to, uh, asset, stop moving north. and oh. it does work, unless he can react to what's about to happen to him here Game to the south. It's hard to do something as a blind animal. If that made any west? sense at all. I, I said it, and then I'm uh, like, what? Where you are. Just keep on moving north <laughs> until you hit I said the, it, it's done. Ooh, speaking of Bluntal Force, we got Expert Squad coming force. right up into the teeth of, what is this, Russian 2nd Squad? Spotted them. Uh, yeah. I heard them in local. They spotted them. They were about to fall back, but now they're getting up on this ridge line with a full line of uh, ARs and AKs looking at them. Alright, uh, command for squad two. You able to get out? Nope, Rubbo has decided against that. He that doesn't location. like the position, so he's pulling him back. Um, yeah, give me a sec. Oof. Maybe. I don't know if I have the right line of sight from here. Expert's about to get the hardest of the contact here though oh i say that and then there goes oddball's fire team moving away that's <laughs> just jugged off to the side there yeah they were in the perfect position just to shoot down the throat Rubba of Expert Squad is... moving up to him oh man rubber is not in a good position this is... here oh yeah it's about to get a lot worse here with kerr kerr a jar barrington we'll see who spots who Oh, they see him. Rubba has spotted him. To his east here. Kerr is about to get a mean hello. And he's engaging. Time now. Oh, we got some... Oh. And that looks like... Oh, oh. down two. Thor has been taken. Down three. Here goes Kims. Kerr is still up. Kerr is still up. Down goes uh, Gentle One. Rubba's damaged. As if he's a vehicle. Rubba is hurt. Uh oh. Mm, I'm checking out the right flank of the Russians here. Takalamas just got taken out. Meeting Expert Squad here. Yep, Expert's in a very advantageous position right there to take out. Oh my gosh. Oddball. Yeah, and now I'm looking at Dick's folk, who was going to go help out Rubba, but then allowed Frenzy Scottish. And Storm to come up behind him. Yep. Yeah, it's just multiple points of contact. This. Let's just pick a place to look. Looks like not a lot's left here of uh, Alpha Guido. You got Lagar and Airborne left in that forest. Oddball squads down to only head us or last lot of Oddball. Rip uh, Dixbolt. He's just getting taken out by this AR here with Frenzy and Storm. Uh, there he goes. That is three SL down now. Yeah, the Russian side is not doing so good this round. Not doing so hot at all. They had it, but then they weren't... And I keep saying this, always keep a 360. Always look in every direction. Always look every direction, especially with all these natural lines of drift and all these avenues of approach. You gotta check all of them. Uh, no, Kerr, you snagged no one. You missed everything. Nah, I'm, I'm joking. I think you killed the uh, 
shoot, I can't remember his name. Can I get some he killed rubber? someone. No, I, he didn't get Rubba. He didn't get Rubba? Yeah, no, nah, Rubba got member. taken out by uh, someone else. MKI. Gotcha. Well, in an effort to get the Russians back, Ruido's trying to call in some smokes on his uh, squad's positions for them to pull back. Yeah, it's a little late here. The smokes are way too thin over here on the uh, field where uh, Nine is a spy and Tinkerbell are. Speaking of Kerr and his uh, squad that he was in, it looks like they moved up to the edge of the field and might catch Sir Laps a lot squad here running across the field. Down goes Tinkerbell and not NSA Spy. So that team's gone, They're leaving only Liberal Pundit, uh, Flicker, and Scene moving away from the scene of battle. And it looks like all the Russians, what's the plan of action after this small blunder? Sounds like he's trying to pull them back. So right, they uh, they believe they've confirmed they're taking the green route now. So now they're oh, trying to pull back to that uh, or, uh, that village in uh, Oscar no, Ten. Two, three, and one are all converging on, to set up a line defense on that location. I'm wondering. Right, uh, three, yeah, it looks like they're bringing in the BTR too. I see it moving on the map. We're a small squadron right now. Might uh, be a little slow to react on that one, but is they are there? Gonna, yeah, is there a uh, capture order for the uh, points, or do they have to go from one to the other? No specific capture order. Yeah, you can take them in whichever order they deem necessary. All right, then I'm going to make a prediction, and if they breach resistance at this town up front, they may attempt to take the further north one. If you There's potential. Uh, uh, I guess the only squad, west, as I can see now, on the American team that would be in the position to do that would be two. 11, if he can sneak around there on the on the right flank. Yeah. But that's and, gonna get a hell of a yes, lot harder yeah, now. Yeah, that with that BTR there. Around. <laughs> yeah. That is a nice long, <laughs> wide open field for that BTR west to west look west across. Up oh yeah. Yes, I would not but doubt it if he went and he used you know, that little get, island uh, of trees and sat there. Who we got in this BTR right here? Looks like we got Fulcrum. Oh, we got not just a BTR, we got a fire team in here. We got Fulcrum and Jenkins running the... Uh, Jenkins as a driver, Fulcrum as the gunner, I believe. I could I be wrong even, there. No, I think he's in the uh, command seat. Yeah, you're right. Jenkins and uh, Brojo. Mojo Brojo, yeah. Mojo, Brojo, and Fulcrum are in there. Yeah. At least they got the uh, the dots fixed on the vehicles. Oh, no. Okay, it's not stuck. Uh, on the vehicles, because it used to, they didn't quite line up with their uh, positions in the vehicle that we're sitting in. Uh, so it looks like Lewis, Quantum, Quantum and Jenkins are going to take a position West. in this little island here, One. which isn't a bad Brojo. choice. That's a really good choice considering they got a BTR in their pocket right behind them to oh, call yeah. in on whatever they glass. And with uh, who's over there? Blackbeard squad being on top of that hill? Probably yeah, the best boys, position for the uh, BTR at the moment. There is oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't off. even think about that. Where's Dude, Bartok at? I want you to get off that hill and stop moving. That's a very, uh, very good question. Bartok is actually <laughs> is in with him. Blackbeard <laughs> squad. <laughs> so. Oh no! Sure sucks to be on the receiving end of karma uh, for all those BTRs and vehicles he's popped island. over all these uh, sure events. We'll push. I don't know. I feel like he's going to pull this off This is actually American about shot. to get really, really bad. This BTR is actually preemptively flanking farther to the east, getting on top of a hill. So he's actually going to be able to look down on top of Blackbird Squatter. Ooh. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Uh, looks like Hovis and Raptor Force are getting real close to X-Bit over here. Yeah, one of your, uh, Russian two-mans up and down the, uh, road here to the west. Yep, and this is about to get very interesting very quick with this BTR. Yep, it looks like we got some smoke in. I can't tell if that was, uh, U.S. or if that was Russian smoke. I think that's, uh, U.S. smoke going down now. Has to be. Yep, 
Okay, oh. so it looks like we got three people peeling off from Blackbeard squad. Ooh, we got a team kill. What? Looks, looks like Sir Lapsalot uh, accidentally contact, had uh, uh, 80 second airborne in his crosshairs. Oh, no. Oh, no, it looks like Blackbeard squad just, just yeah. escaped detection by this BTR. They have opted to move west into the low ground and avoid being detected here. How is that possible? Command for squad one. That BTR should be able to see them. Squad well, one, now I think about it, down, it's night time. Far distance. Fog. Uh, all that good stuff. Right oh, yeah. We have BTR, BTR uh, direct north of my... Uh, as long as these uh, Americans keep their heads down, they shouldn't see them, which is exactly what Scotch has got his guys doing. They're hugging the dirt. Yeah. Now, when's he going to send Bartok to go destroy that vehicle? Let me know when that happens. <laughs> In this specific situation, that'd be very, yeah, how he would get over there. I think he could I'll do it. Probably in the one location where Bartok actually could not get to him. Never mind. There it goes. <laughs> Bartok nailed it. Oh, Boom. oh I missed <laughs> it. No. Bartok. Oh, oh man. Bartok in the ground. Next I know, a, a shot comes flying across the field and nails it. God, what is that? That is a, that is a 500... Meter ish, 400 meters shot. Oh, 450. man. I told you. It's just sick bird talk on it. No vehicle survives. Down goes Duke and Barrington to flicker. Thanks. All right, two, three is in contact. And we got more smoke coming in. I think it's the second roll for the U.S. side on smoke. That leaves them with two more. Ooh, looks like we got a fire team from Phoenix coming up behind. Whose squad is this over here? Rose Dragons? Squad four? They're right on the other side of the field from the road from them. Might hey, see Duck and Stein here. See if they hold their fire or take him up that. before he goes away. Yeah, yeah, you can. It looks like they're going to hold their fire. They're going to mirror what the Americans are doing and get into a better position. I would hope so. Taking out one guy in the rear is definitely one way to uh, get spotted. Some people are trigger happy. I just want to dunk the uh, a player on the enemy team without thinking about the long run in the engagement. Yeah, that's true. I know I'm trigger happy. All right, let's go. See. And then here comes that fire team blitzing over this road and over this hill right behind Rose Dragon. Let me know when they start taking contact. I'll come contact. back to it. 100 meters in front. Ooh, Rose, Rose Dragon points. taking fire team with them. We got three of them back here in the rear who might see these guys coming up behind them. Might. Might. These guys are brushing shoulders again. It's only happened for like the 12th time tonight. Well, it is a nighttime map. Really hard to see anything, unless they got their night vision on. Night goggles turned on, exactly. It's going to be on Oscar 1096. Oscar 1096, Roger. Interesting enough, Phoenix is way... He's back there by Eagle Mountain. I'm thinking he's confirming what route that they're going after. But with that being said, I think it's very prevalent on what objectives they're going after right now, considering all the American forces surrounding that uh, hut there in Oscar 10. My Bravo team is currently covering the road to make sure they can't infill from that side. Once we've cleared this island, then we'll sweep down and try and take the buildings in the north, and then we'll pinch. Looks like Blackbeard has a plan of action that I could not repeat if I wanted to. <laughs> It is why why are we sharing a cliff here, people? Yeah, I know I was looking at that. <laughs> Never tell who your next door neighbor is. Uh, and there's the third US smoke. 
slowly moving in on the point. Speak. Blackbeard's point. It looks like it's going to go flawlessly, considering that uh, fire team has abandoned that island of trees in that field. Yeah, so they lost their advantage with that vehicle. Yeah, their left flank is now going to be exposed to Blackbeard coming in here on the west uh, on the east side. And Flicker and Liberal Pundit's group is slowly getting picked off by what Blackbeard sent down to reinforce. Yep, and then we got yeah. who's it? Don't get Sorry guys, ready. you'll just have to ignore that. It's uh, it got changed for another stream a few days back and just never got changed back. Uh, the game currently is not Arma but Squad. Get some beautiful CQC here, right here on top of Sir Last a lot. There goes down 82nd Airborne. Silver took him out. Oddball, he tagged once. Oddball tagged again. Now he's taking out third time. Sir Last a lot. Oh, he took down next. Oh, see how Oh, he's about to get three of them. Oh, and then he got shot in the rear. That was almost about to be beautiful, but Lawn Darts put a stop to that. Now Roman Orc getting that assaulting element in the side. But here come the flanks Rose. again with uh, whose squad is this coming up? Rose Dragons coming across the field up behind Roman. With a fire team from Phoenix coming up behind Rose Dragon. The longest flank. Part two. <laughs> the extreme long flank. Yo, uh, command, you've got contacts between you and the Rose, your east. I'm sending my brother team to... How do I zoom in like that? I go zoom, zoom, boy. Now it's, um, I just I have it set to the FOV change. It's not really zooming. I'm just changing the FOV, which changes the depth of field. So giving you an example up there, if you can see it, that is FOV. Can you send your squad in to, and it just, uh, it scales up and down. We've got contact close on our east north east. Uh, I no longer have squad, it's just me. And that point. fire team that was in the middle of that field where the BTR was is now aware to Blackbeard over here and is in waiting in an ampus position across the field. And now Blackbeard is pushing across the field full sprint towards them in the ditch. Uh, come on, be advised, I'm sending another so if this fire team with Jenkins, so Lewis, and Quantum play their cards right, it could take out five plus here. Uh, looks like Storm's gonna be the first one to run right into the enemy contact and doesn't even know it. Two, I'm gonna go for right yep. over here. Uh, stream the has called it up. It down, you need to yeah. Pull. Stream has been up for about one hour and 45 minutes and 60 seconds. So, make that. I'll go Storm. Frenzy followed soon after. Jenkins and Lewis are trying to pull back, trading two for two for one. Effectively nullifying Blackbeard's little flank there. Blackbeard, Blackbeard getting a little on. hungry. Blackbeard not looking in the right direction. He doesn't. Lewis, I think, gets Blackbeard. Alright, squad four. Make a break for the final objective in Kilo Well, looks like these Americans got the radio planted on the actual objective proper and are now have pulled back to the outer, to the outside of the compound, considering that all the Russians are inside the compound. So they have taken that objective now to decide if they continue to push the contact and move on to their last objective. Report. It'll be difficult and interesting to see, uh, considering over here by Rose Dragon no Squad, the kind of Swiss cheese formation we got Roger going on here with the intermixing of of Russians and uh, Americans here. We're going to the final objective, which is in Kilo Slowly getting better. Slowly. Yeah, I think they ended up walking on top of each other, not knowing quite how to react. Roger, west of me.
mad honcho is just kind of sitting here on the edge of the compound. Sadly, Bartok, no. You, we were talking about you taking that shot at the BTR the moment you took the shot at the BTR. So, I think Sergeant Jackson saw you take it, but Stream was not. I got the after action, which was a smoking pile of death. <laughs> yes, that is very true. I had a very front row in my face seat of that BTR going up. So, very, very well play shot there, Bartok. Made me remember why people always check to see what team you are on when we have vehicles. Command, do you engage? Yeah, I'm taking heavy fire. I think it's an MG. No. And I was wondering if this was going to be the play. It looks like Rose Dragon is pushing off, letting two and uh, Command and the remnants of three deal with that contact while he pushes on to the last point to go get the radio down. Which is smart. He's got zero resistance in between him and the point. All the Russian efforts are on that last point that I they got, got the up. radio down on. Roger. Break. All right, he's gone. And the Russians are all over the back lines on the U.S. side. When I don't even record it, Kerb, you know what? Maybe I did record it, and I'm just going to put a really high price out there for you to, if you ever want to see it. <laughs> You know, now I actually have to wonder, are you recording? Actually, if I was actually to hit uh, save replay, I have the 30-minute loop on my NVIDIA right now. So well, I could if, you, if you beg him hard enough, he might save it. Command, this is... Go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and send all of my guys direct to point. Roger. Now everyone's kind of gone quiet. Yep. Re retest and refilm. Fisco takes out Sasa. Slowly taking out Phoenix's little group here. There Down goes Killer J. Hey, Command, this is Fort. Go ahead, Fort. Do you want me to grab yep, the Don't let us down, oh fearless leader. Eyes of the streamer are watching you. Negative down, pretty solid contact. Uh, organize your teams to push onto the final objective. Copy that. Uh, be aware they'll be hot in your heels. Yep, I called it. They're moving for the other objective. Squad, or uh, who's that? Dragon Squad is moving out, trying to get over there to set it. I do believe so. He is very on. Uh, he's consistently keeps going to the west when I believe. Okay, yeah, no, he keeps moving to the west, and then he's gonna turn north at the intersection and go grab that last one. I don't think he's got any. Is there any Russian forces over there? I don't think he's got anyone that can impede. There are his, uh, no Russian forces over there. The only Russian forces that are left are on the last point that the radio was put down. All right, I have not even given a uh, kill count. So for the U.S. side, they have 24 kills and the Russians 19. I think we can see who is a uh, hmm, strategically sound team. I think it's cheating because they have Bartok. <laughs> the huge... The huge swing on the uh, the BTR. Well, if you actually think <laughs> BTR was nullified in both rounds, right basically off the bat without being able to be effective for oh, the yeah. Russian team, so made it but equal it, in that sense. So it basically it. just boiled down to the uh, infantry engagements. At least round two, Russian actually tried to use theirs though. Yes, potentially. Yeah, they actually did try to use it like as a reactionary. Uh, quick reactionary force moving it over but unfortunately the gunner wasn't able to spot any of the infantry contacts and sat in one place for way one too long, too long. <laughs> and that was just enough time for Bartok to line up the shot not to mention they were skylighting bad 
be very bad, especially with the fog and the moon backlighting. Yeah, that. Fortunately, the uh, the silhouette of the BTR was all too easy for Blackbeard's squad to spot for Bartok to take it out. Squad through this. And I just noticed falling over here, and I'm not even surprised. Following Rose Dragon squad, Daniel running around over here with a pump shotgun. What? Yep, he is the engineer kit, and he is running around with the U.S. Army pump six-rounder shotgun. That's Daniel for you. I've got no words for that boy. From one generation to the next, there just seems to be some misconnections with uh, <laughs> overall judgment. But I mean, hey, I'll take back what I, I'll take back that statement if he manages uh, to kill anyone. Or two. Yeah, but you know what? I can't even blame him for it because I've done it in the past. Yeah. Well, I've seen a lot of ops members run around with pistols too. Yeah, yeah. When they figure out they're getting into a uh, a flanking position and they're not being watched <laughs> coming up behind and the famous old pistol to the now so if it was silent i could understand it because silent can pull off a kill with anything a knife a pistol a rock can we mod in a rock yeah can we, can we type in the mod throwing rocks we already have yeah. them in the game uh cover up mines can we just tr change them into the throwing objects <laughs> You get hit by five rocks and it kills you. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I can just imagine a line getting up behind someone who's not paying attention, and the team going stone him. Um, it's okay. That's horrible. I can see that being used as some memory in some of these uh, Russian briefings. Oh, jeez. Or you get a smart mouth like chicken, and then Guido orders the entire team to stone him to death right there. Blasphemy, and... stone him. Yep. Exactly. So, this is interesting. The Russians have effectively disengaged, or um, correction, the Americans have yeah. pulled off and disengaged all contact. The Russians are still sitting around like, I, they, I don't even think, do they even know the radio's down? I have not heard zero contacts. Or uh, Who's left over? for command over there? Looks like by the looks of it, we have. No, I know. Oh, who is this? Roman's even down, so it's not him. Phoenix. Phoenix is the last one, I believe, uh, part of the original SL. So he's the one in command. Remnants of Roman squad, which is squad uh, one, and then Phoenix with his one fire team. So they really only have one full squad. To deal with Are we bringing this the rest south? of the Americans here. Southeast, make sure the enemy don't just come up behind us on this road. So unless oh, they gotcha. beeline it towards that last objective, no. Even then, they wouldn't even be able to make it. Four is practically right on top of it. Yeah. Well, we both know that this is not going to end with the taking of all three points. It only ends. When one team does not exist. Basically. The objectives are there just to provide guidance to your inevitable doom. <laughs> Let's see if I can find some. I see Nightmares talking. Let's see what he's talking about. Like, so the incentive people are probably wondering why like why the objectives why would you want to capture all three objectives and go to the last one you know it seemed so, like it'd be a detriment to no manpower to and casualties is that when they oh, get to this cool. last there's always an incentive there's always an incentive they always go until the last soldier on each side is taken out the incentive in this case is when they get to that last point they can place a fob radio and call in supplies and set up a hard defense so then they turn in from the attackers to the defenders and it's always yep. harder to take out a well defended hardened defended uh point especially you know, no. set up for an attack like that actually it's gonna be a little bit more difficult on this one because this point's on a bridge it would have been easier on the second point which was uh you know they're already there yeah 
This is this is gonna be interesting as a defensive point. Oh, if I'm thinking like you know, if I'm command, you know, is command is, is see is command on uh, American still up? Uh, yeah, lawn darts still up. Lawn darts still up. See, if I'm thinking like command, or even if I'm thinking like lawn darts, that bridge is probably one of the best defensive points. You put the radio under the bridge, and then you make that thing into a uh, asphalt bunker, and you line up. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You line up. You line up sandbags on both sides. You have everybody else hiding the trees. It's really, really tough to take and push, considering that Russians don't have a BTR anymore. They probably used or have lost the majority of any kind of AT or rocket assets. So turning from a defense into an assault, yeah, that's going to be very, very tough for the Russians to try to take. Yeah. I see some places that would be a good position, too. It all depends on how the Russians push it. So far, they have not been lucky in any of their positionings. No, I think they're slowly starting to figure out that they have moved on to the last point. So that they are moving. I think they've confirmed. Yeah, they confirmed the radio was there. And they confirmed green, obviously, after that radio being on that last point. So now they're finally starting to get in tune to what is happening with Phoenix going to the north around the pond. And it looks like one is going to move from his position west. So they're going to try and attack it from two different directions, which ultimately, you know, in this scenario, is probably the best play for them, considering that they are down on numbers, is to try to get a crossfire and hit it from two different angles. This command for squad four, well done. Calling in a supply drop now. If you could get some uh, sandbag defenses up and security looking um, northeast, east, southeast. Yep, you were right. You called it right on the money. All right, supply bird marked with red smoke. And they have set the radio, and now Londarts has called yeah, in sure. for the Very supply nice drop. Would, so now, yeah, as soon as that supply drop comes in, you're going to see a in. bunch of. Sandbags and other reinforcements. I don't believe they get any emplacements, but they do get as many defensive so sandbags as uh, uh, however much supply points are going to get off that drop. Yeah, yeah hardened defense like that bridge right there. Three. And yeah, um, yep, he did. You he, yep, some, he put uh, that radio right under the bridge, just like I called it. Well, I mean, it's not right under the bridge. It's under the lip. If, I don't think they could have gotten any right, further under there the anyways. The right yeah, they the completely heads, could have. The They're crawling under there. That's their new yeah, home. Americans <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have just become the underground people. <laughs> the underminer. And the if anyone people. gets that, yeah, if anyone gets that reference. And Phoenix is looking for the supply drop right now, trying to figure out where they're at. And there's the reef, uh, supplies. Rose yep. Dragon gonna go nom it up, and we're gonna see a bunch of sandbags. Hold out the kilo nine supply drop, so they confirmed that so they are holding out at the bridge. Now we will see how this uh, defense is gonna go here. Uh, well, how they set up their uh, strong points here. Oh, yeah. Not too quick. One's not very far off, and four is gaining as well. Interesting that... Uh, <laughs> that uh, Rose has opted to put the tank traps on the road with the BTR being nullified. Yo, if the enemy starts to come to I find that kind of humorous, the considering that there is no more real assets that those tank traps will stop, so, hey, yeah, I could be wrong. Maybe we'll catch a bullet or two and save uh, an American soldier. Any restrictions on what we can bag? Let me know. Be off. You? Uh, just uh, sandbags. You uh, got shot. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, yeah, sandbags. Yeah, just sandbags. Only sandbags. Bob wire, if you think. Just try to focus on the left. I tossed a pair of hedgehogs on the back. Thanks, bud. I didn't get shot. I caught yeah, that's fine. I, got I now wish to watch The Incredibles. <laughs> mm. 
that's the topic of discussion for today in the yep. channel. Incredible. Go Good I'm lord. I don't know, I think I've second one. I think I've only watched the first one. I've watched both. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm on the fence. I like both of them, but I don't know which one I like the most. I think the second one had some very memorable moments, comedy-wise. But the first one... Eh. Alright, looks like Block, over here to the south, has called out contact and he is now engaging... The southern element. Uh, don't get shot, Miyamoto and Duncan Stein here. I was wondering if they're going to engage from that position or sneak up more, and they are opting into engaging, maybe potentially trying to pull uh, some of the attention off of Phoenix coming in from the north. Which we'll see how it happens. Lawn Darts does like to react on the fly, so if he moves everybody to the south. Only got one person, two people in the north. Daniel being the only one that's really watching the north right now. Salty Toast, Phoenix, Jenkins, and Lewis all crossing the road into the field. Yeah, it looks like the Russians taking up positions on the. Well, at least some of them are taking a position on that rocky outcropping high up. Downside is that they are basically giving away their position to anyone on low ground. Yep. Yeah. So, oh my god, you know how I said Daniel had that pump shotgun? Yeah. Now going up here to the north, closest to Phoenix, and these guys who don't see him hiding in an orange bush. What? Wait, wait, where and is Daniel? Like, he's the only one in the area. So I swear to god, if he, if he puts a couple slugs into Phoenix or any one of these guys with that shotgun, I'm about to retire. <laughs> you can't retire, you just got here. Life. But it looks like Phoenix is going to scoot farther to the left, so who is the ones that are going to be able to see him? Negligent Shots is running away farther to the east. Dude. Oh, Phoenix might just roll right up on top of these guys. Mm. I mean, they can watching. if they can get in that hole, but the issue is... It's a death trap if they go in that hole. Nobody. Jank, or Rose Dragon, don't get shot. Duncan Stein, Tarkas, uh, Miyamoto. Everybody in this hole. Sorry, Nobody is watching Everyone north. Well, did you see that contact? Is it down? <sighs> there is just a yeah, lot right, of right. not 360 uh, going on. The shit out of him. A yeah, that I'd probably be these. losing my mind as command right, right now past, that uh, the team, so? the fire team, was able to get that. right on top of the newly formed fob that we just put down. Flank. Well, Jenkins. Galley's looking that direction. No, Galley is. Yeah, oh. Galley's Ooh. about to peak and it's about to have the Russians see what's on his mind. Nope, he turned around. Jenkins, here's the radio under the bridge. If he hears a dig in as well, Jenkins spots he's where Londarts and his helper are farther down the ravine. Ooh. Oh, Londarts still up. That, that wasn't even by Phoenix's squad. That, by Phoenix squad. Squad. that was by Block Squad way over there. Roger. Single Ow. tap. Single tap. He's down to dark orange now. So approximately one more bullet at the end of Londarts. Duncan sign goes down. Oh my gosh. They just lost all of their southern, their Shit, southern buddy team over there. Directly north. Uh, Jenkins is up uh, on the uh, Sam. Oh, he's about to toss a grenade in. Londart sees Jenkins. There goes. Uh, there goes Rose. Yeah. Guys, guys, spread the word. We gotta play telephone here. Nobody can hear each other. Yeah, Face it. Daniel. The only way. The only way to move forward is with a flank. Daniel and Joshi need to collapse in on this right now. But yeah, they are way too far out. Right behind here, and he's watching that area. Now that Phoenix is up on the point, he wants Block to start moving south and start strangling all the... Ooh, now goes on darts. Uh, oop. Fearless leader gun. And it looks like Jenkins is down. Wow. 
Are the Russians really going to pull this off? Being down to what? Almost a whole squad. Yeah. Down a whole squad. See, so Russians uh, sitting at 26 kills with the Americans at 25. Ooh. Phoenix just escaped death, right? <laughs> with a uh, grenade going off, probably about 15 feet from him. Oof. All right, we're going to pick someone and we're going to stay on them. Uh, we're going to float around the bridge. But I'm not seeing him. Speaking of Daniel, looks like Phoenix taught him a lesson about that shotgun. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Shotgun ain't good. We are very well fortified here. We might want to hold what we have. given this. Now situation. we got Nightmare, yeah, Scottish Chap, and Jossie mm -hmm. grouping up here to the, to the north. Do you want to come here? I've got yeah, Miyamoto dude. over here touting how well defended they check, are man. under the bridge. They want to harden up under there. I'm like, that's not a good idea. You got a team full of grenades right now. Oh, so, so clumped under there. Yeah, one grenade. East at the barbed wire. East at the barbed wire. In the swamp. Oh, yeah, one grenade. There's no explosion. No grenade shelters. Nothing down there. Nope. I'm telling you, I just watched a dude walk into the fucking weeds there. I thought he was friendly. Well done by the remnants of uh, hey, D Russia WG, here. You're gonna be, uh, Four and uh, near, uh, northwest one. There. I won't be able to cover you. Oh, now here comes the nightmare. Running off. Gosh, they're just missing each other. Joshy might see Salty Toast here to the north. Negligent shots might have a view over here on Hedda and Block moving up. Have hostiles directly south of you. Scottish just got called out. South within 20 to 50 meters. Block near uh, Phoenix is alerting North Block to the there. presence of enemy contact on the east side of the bridge. I'm honestly surprised Nightmare is still alive. And Scottish being beamed by who was that? That was Animal, Animal Mother. In town. Yep. That's an interesting name. <laughs> You'll run into a few of those around here. Joshy he just pushes forward like. Just a few more feet. See Salty Toast laying on the other side of this rock over here. Ooh, was that Ooh. a lat from Nightmare? Nightmare is a lat? What kind of apocalyptic round is this? Wait, is Nightmare it a lat or is it a hat? He's the hat. Him not having an AR is like Bartok Weird. not taking... Yeah, <laughs> not taking AT really like it's just unheard it. of. So it's very K9 interesting to be a hat. Carl Gustav. I think they wanted to uh, definitely cause some issues on the U.S. side. Multi crawling towards his impending pending doom here. Unless oh, now he's doing it backwards. About to crawl right up into Joshi here. See if Joshi hears him. It doesn't matter where he crawls, he's going to crawl into right? someone. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodbye, Salty. Aww. <laughs> Chose to stand up and run across the road at the wrong moment. I swear for a second there, they were staring at each other right in the eyes, but... Like you said, it's dark out. Yep. We have the advantage of being able to see everything. People on the ground, oh not so much. Just one path, Revy. I didn't even think that. The, okay, well now he's dead, but he almost took out Raptor Force. Oh dang, Revy's down. And Phoenix got beamed by Miyamoto hiding under the bridge Miyamoto next to the to pillar. Revy, but yeah, this the, is ultimately I'd looking like meters, the Russians are working really well, covering all angles, and they're gonna end up clearing out as long as they play this right. As far as clearing underneath this bridge. The only one that's not under the bridge right now, uh, only two not under the bridge, are Joshi and Nightmare. Nightmare's not doing too hot. He's in yellow right now. What am I, two weeks to cash in that social security? What the fuck? Miyamoto's dead. Turn around. WG, turn around, man. And down goes Miyamoto. cash in. Nightmare clinging on to life over there in the trees. We got under the bridge. 
Looks like we got Galley. WG, WG sees. Took out uh, Raptor. Yep, here comes uh, here comes Joshua with a nade. Did not go down there. Stuck. Ooh, over the bridge. bridge. See, that is their grenade bunker. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to place one down. The bridge is it. Just with really big openings. Ooh. Ooh. Nightmare taking out Steve-O and Block. What? With a lat? With, with, with the car with the Oh. With the car Gustav. Yikes. Oh, man. That's gentlemen, why we preach 15 meters of combat spacing. Whether he took him out with one shot, or I heard him fire twice, but I looked over and they were both down, so. I'm going to guess that got took out with one, otherwise there would have been some kind of reaction fire. I'm not going to lie, I didn't play baseball growing up. I did throw a baseball, though. That was about it. How many lats they have? They actually have one hat. One hat. <laughs> one hat that belongs to yeah, the uh, that. ops member known as your nightmare. Yeah, he is definitely everyone's nightmare tonight. <laughs> oh yes you did and you took out a teammate with you you and your face exploding there's not the last one we have three underneath the bridge yep I take it you got the Russians saying that the uh, last one up is a uh, nightmare or oh okay I see it Kerr fucking savages yeah. a lot of them Interesting enough, if you were ever to try the ultimate meme with the Carl Gustav, if you have the smoke rounds and you direct hit an enemy, it will kill them with the smoke round. So, just to let you know, Luck, I don't think you got memed on. I think you got killed by an HE round. Otherwise, you might have been eternally known as the smoke man. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's actually earned that title yet in the ops community. I have not seen anybody who's been killed by a Carl Gustav smoke yet. All right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm going to make a request of Bartok in the next op. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay that man 20 No, nah, screw it. I'll pay Palum $50 if he kills somebody with a Carl Gustav smoke round. Oh, man. That was me. Them out and then poof. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they seem to know they're definitely under the bridge. I think the they're more, is... more so wary, worried about nightmare, not knowing where how many are in the bushes out to the east side. I'm wondering when uh, event admins are going to start whispering in the ears of the Russians and say, "Push them or die." Mm -hmm. Did you hear that footstep? Yeah. Right. Negative. Push them or face the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, the angry crowd of, wow, what the heck? Joshy is still alive. What? He is over here to the northwest. Oh, he is. I just turned around and saw an unsuspecting triangle running up. Oh, you might. Oh no, this is about to be very bad potentially. What is this man doing by himself? Not a clue. Fortunately, Joshi on the Russian side, so we actually potentially might have a Joshi versus Joshi here. Well, the Joshi on the Russian side. The other Joshi. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that one uh, scene when I... Uh, I'm like, wait a second. This Joshi's been here the whole time. I'm like, where is the other Joshi? And I turn around, there he is. Way back in the woods. Away from everything. It's only sour 
Unfortunately, the Russian Joshi that's sitting next to the bridge is an FTL. I got happy for a second, like just use the GL, but the FTLs for the on the mod only give them smoke rounds. So they're sitting here trying to. They discuss, could. Uh, they uh, could uh, take someone out with a smoke round. I don't think the GL smokes will actually damage anybody. I think I've actually firmly have tested that one out. Well, well, I guess the next time y'all hold SOT, I'll be a dummy and you just have everyone shoot GL uh, smokes at me. They are opting into smoking off the bridge and pushing. Yeah, Nightmare are doing a good job. They don't know how many are over there in the tree line, so they're opting in. Uh, Nightmare's dead. Did he get him? Oh my yeah, goodness. he's dead. <laughs> hey, Nightmare whatever got, works. Yep, he got him. Yeah. I'm, see, that's why we tell you, you know, when suppressing an area, just suppress the area. Up. You never know. You might get him. Massive smoke coming in. Curry, you shoot a smoke at me, and yeah, I'm going to shoot back at you with live rounds. There is still a trainee for the yeah. SOT instructor program, so if anybody needs to get hazed by getting a smoke round shot at him, it's probably definitely going to be him. <laughs> uh, Alright, this is taking a long time to take this, this uh, your Joshy. The other Joshy, 3Y Joshy, is now on the other side of the ravine. Very oh, so still, still far out though. Yeah, he is still very far out. He needs to close distance if he's gonna stop these guys from taking out uh, his teammates on the bridge. He sees somebody. He sees Hedda. He's suppressing Hedda, and now they're aware to his position. They're not on top of the bridge. Yep, they called him out. Tagged him once. I think they're down bearing one six five. Still looking west. Yep. I'm looking straight south. All right. Hedda is calling out that Negligent is peeking out on the right side, so you might see one. Oh, there goes Joshi. Joshi Hedda. killing Joshi. Literally. Oh, Negligent. If he okay, sorry, might get tagged by somebody here, there goes Negligent. Joshi takes Joshi. <laughs> Joshi takes Joshi. Oh, that's so horrible. <laughs> like, we're dwindling down here. We got Galley and WG, Lewis and Hedda on one side, Phil and I and Joshi on the other. Oh. So they actually did not know how many troops are over there where Joshi killed the other Josh yet, so now they're gonna smoke it off and then potentially push the bridge. Is that all right? We've got to find some way to denote Joshi from Joshi, so I'm gonna go Joshi, and then the other one I'm gonna go Joshi. Yeah, yeah, takes pawn. <laughs> Someone mark this in Twitch. I'm gonna come back and see if I can clip this together. The Joshy combo yeah. conversation. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. oh, and now we're down to WG, last man. Which he probably is gonna to want to turn around. I don't know. He's kind of in a not so favorable. Yeah, no, his position is. Oh, and that good. is all. Down goes by Lewis. And that is GG for round two. Russian win this time. All right. Good game. So, let me pull us over to the calendar.